Hello and welcome to this photo speed tutorial on black and white printing. Today what I'm going to be doing is doing a real world test between the P700 and the Pro 300. Now I've always been a fan of using a profile to print, however I want to really test the black and white print modes on these printers, especially the Epson because now they have this advanced black and white mode and also they have this carbon black on the P700 which supposedly intensifies the blacks. So I'm really interested to see the difference between the Canon and the Epson, especially with this carbon black feature that the Epson has, but also their black and white modes and have a bit of a shootout between the two and see which produces a better black and white. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to do some prints. And like I said, I'm going to be using real world tests. So I'm not going to be printing charts with gray gradients and things like that. I'm actually going to be printing real prints because that's what we all do. So what we'll do is we'll get some prints printed off and have a look and see. So first of all, I'm going to start with the Epson. Now I'm going to see the difference between the black and white mode and the profile as well, print too off and see. And also I want to have a look at this carbon black and just compare the difference and just see what is happening when we put this on. Okay, so let's get some prints made. Okay, so the first thing I want to look at on the Epson P700 and, and the P900 effectively is the carbon black quality mode and the black overcoat as well. And effectively what it would does and what it can add to our prints as well. Now I've done two prints here, which I'll just bring up on screen for you and have a look. Now, one of them was done without the black overcoat or the carbon black mode, and one was done with. Now I have to say, side by side, the carbon black and the black overcoat makes a huge difference to the print. The black is really silky and deep. It's just so well, black, it, it's unbelievable. However, I think if you didn't have the two prints side by side, I don't think you'd possibly notice. However, there is a big difference, I have to say. It is, like I said, it is just this black that you could just fall into. I think if you have it on your printer, you use it. Now, I've also done the P300 as well, a print next to it as well. And comparing the two, I do say the Epson does have a deeper black using this. Now to achieve this, it does use more ink. So this is how it's doing it. It is putting down light gray in the black areas to intensify that black for you. So it is gonna use the light gray. It, that is gonna go down a bit quicker when you're using this as well. It just puts it underneath everything just to intensify those blacks. So it achieves this by using more black. Now, the next thing I wanna do with the Epson is compare the two modes that we have and the two ways of printing, which is best for black and white, which has always been a debate with myself as well. So do I use a profile, which I normally do, to be honest, or do I use the advanced black and white mode when I'm printing a black and white? Okay, so I'm gonna do some prints just to see which is better and which works best. I'm not expecting to see huge differences but it's just those going to be those little difference because like we all know, there's nowhere to really hide when you're printing a black and white print. So let's have a look and see and we'll do some prints and we'll just see which gives the better result. And then we'll start to compare those results to the two modes on the Canon as well. So using a profile and then using Canon's own black and white mode as well. And just see which is better. But at the minute with this carbon black and this day, the Epson is just slightly ahead on the black points. Okay, so for these tests, I should talk a little bit about what paper I'm using. Now I'm using the Platinum Brighter, which is absolutely fantastic for your black and white printing, especially if you want that dark room feel as well. Okay, so now I've got the two prints printed off. So I did one on the profile, or using a custom profile, should I say, um, which looks absolutely great. Both of these printed with the carbon black, by the way, as well. So this looks absolutely fantastic. Also, I printed one off using the advanced black and white mode. Looks equally fantastic. 
Now, I'd be really hard pushed to see a difference between the two. Both have really good detail in shadows and highlights. Um, resolution, absolutely fantastic, obviously, because it's from the Epson 700 with their new head technology in it and things. So really fine jets of ink as well. So absolutely fantastic, it looks beautiful. Um, to be honest, I can't really see a massive difference between the two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two up on screen and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the saturation on the shot just to see which one is more neutral. Now, as you can see here, the shot from using the profile does have a little bit more color in. There is still a little bit of color in there. You can't really see it with your naked eye, I have to say, looking over the prints, comparing them side by side, can't really see it. However, it is there. So the advanced black and white mode does do what it says on the tin effectively. It really gives a really neutral black and white. Now, that means me, myself included, would switch to using the advanced black and white mode. I think it is really good. I think I, I'm really impressed with these results. Now I did use a custom profile I made myself on this print and I did actually optimize it as well using the x right software, the i1 profiling software to do this. So I did refine it slightly as well, which I would recommend anyone who um, is printing black and whites to do and using a custom profile. However, the Epson black and white mode, really impressed. I'm just really hoping the Canon can kind of live up to this because at the minute, the Epson is really ticking all the boxes for, for myself. So let's have a look at the Canon to start with. Let's have a look at using the profile and using the black and white mode. And then I will compare the two. Okay, so looking at the prints, we can see here that actually the black and white mode from Canon is doing its job. There is a difference. The profile is not doing a, as good a job as the black and white mode. And we are getting some slight cast in there and some slight color variation. Now, this is this was the same with the Epson as well. So those black and white modes are doing what they say on the box. They are creating a more neutral print, which is fantastic. So it looks like the way to go is to print with that black and white mode and not a custom profile at the minute. So now let's put the Epson and Canon side by side and see which wins out over this as well. Doing the same test, I'm gonna put the prints together and then gradually increase the saturation and we'll see which wins and which one is a more neutral print. So I'm gonna be using the Canon black and white mode to do this and also the Epson advanced black and white mode. We're gonna leave the profiles out of this because as we've proved, both printers produce a better black and white using the dedicated black and white modes. So let's see what we get. Now by looking at these two prints side by side, I would say there is so little difference in them. They are almost identical. The Epson, I would say, because of that carbon black, does have a slightly deeper black point as well. Now, also with the Epson, I have to say, these were both printed at the same DPI 1440. And I have to say the Epson is very slightly smoother. I can just see a little bit of dot grain in there and in, in the Canon. And it is just a little bit smoother, the Epson. So that new head on the Epson is really doing its job and it is doing what Epson had promised it would do. Now, if I increase the contrast, what we see is not a lot of difference again very very similar now the epson is producing a little bit of a warmer feel to the picture there is so little difference between them okay so now we've seen those two pictures side by side we've seen that it's so close between the two i think you'd be very hard pushed to pick which one was which if someone shuffled them up now you might just spot it because of that epson giving a slightly deeper black now, 
That is the winning factor for me, that carbon black. I have to go with the Epson in this. Although just slightly warmer print as well, which reminds me a little bit more of like dark room papers, especially, especially on the brighter as well. It works really well. And equally it would work on platinum gloss art fiber as well. So for me, it is the Epson. Um, that is the printer I would go for if you were printing black and white prints. The Canon is fabulous. I think if you got the Canon, you would be more than happy with what it's gonna do. But if you put them side by side, and we have gone to the extremes in these tests, your eyes would never see this, to be honest, or you'd have to look very, very hard to be able to see what I'm talking about with these as well. Increasing the saturation to those extremes just to try and get something out of it. Now, that, that said, I think Epson have done a really nice job. The print is a little bit smoother um, because of that new head technology. Also, that black as well. I keep going on about it, but that carbon black, it is just slightly deeper. However, oh, it's so it's so tight. It is so tight. They're both fantastic printers. I can't really call it. To be honest, I can't really call, I can't really choose between the two. But if someone forced me, I would say the Epson just because of that black and that just that tiny, tiny little bit of smoothness. But anyway, okay. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope it's given you a little bit of food for thought as well with printing black and white and which printer you should choose. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell icon so you get notifications of when new videos drop. Our new videos come out every Thursday and please, please, please spread the word and just don't forget to click that subscribe button. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye.